everyone what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Kaylee and I'm just gonna get right on into it as you can see from the title of this video today is another Trader Joe's grocery haul and uh, I got a lot of food you guys seem to really like my first haul so I figured I would do a second one I got some new things I got some old things some returning things so without further ado let's get into it I'm going to attempt to start with the produce, although these bags are not the most organized things in the world. I think this may have been the same thing I started my last Trader Joe's haul off with, but I just got a bunch of bananas. I just got the regular, not the uh, organic, because I am cheap and they're six cents cheaper. I don't eat fresh bananas a ton. I usually end up freezing them to put in smoothies and stuff, and I was running out of frozen bananas, so I just bought a few more to let them ripen and then throw them in the freezer to make my protein smoothies. Next, I just got three Honeycrisp apples. Honeycrisp are my favorite apples. They are just so sweet and so crunchy and just the best. Um, I eat apples a lot, either just cut up plain, some almond butter, some peanut butter. I just like them for a snack in between meals when I'm starting to get hungry. They really fill me up and they're, I mean, yeah their apples. I also got two bell peppers. I got an orange and I got a yellow. I love to snack on fresh peppers with hummus. That's about it. Sometimes some sort of like veggie dip. I've really fallen in love with peppers this last year. I haven't had peppers in the house in a while so I figured I would just grab a few while I was there. And then I also grabbed two avocados mainly for avocado toast. It's really the only thing I use for avocados. I usually only buy one at a time because I don't eat avocado toast too too often and then my avocados always end up going bad but I did see this trick on TikTok where if you save it in a bucket of water and put it in your fridge it won't turn brown. I'm very intrigued and I'm definitely gonna have to try it. I also just got a pack of the organic cut and peeled baby carrots. These are a huge huge staple for me. I pretty much always have carrots in the house like at all times. It's one of my staple snacks to have before a meal, with a meal, in between meals. I love carrots and hummus and honestly trader joe's carrots are just like the best carrots and i have no idea why but these are definitely my favorite so obviously i had to grab some of these so next i'll move on to dairy even though this um is a non-dairy beverage but i just got some of the non-dairy almond unsweetened vanilla milk unsweetened vanilla almond milk there we go almond milk is also a huge staple for me i use it for everything. I use it for my coffee. I use it for my smoothies. I use it for my oatmeal. I use it for cereal. So I am about halfway done with the carton I have in my fridge right now. So I figured again while I was there, might as well grab the other one. I also just got one small um, Greek non-fat yogurt, the plain. I never really get yogurt from Trader Joe's. It's not my favorite, but I have been wanting to make a tuna salad and I usually either use like non-fat or low-fat uh, mayo or non-fat plain Greek yogurt and I haven't had any and I've been craving tuna so I figured while I was there I'll just grab a little one so that I can make it with one of my cans of tuna. I also grabbed another tub of the fat-free cottage cheese. This is another staple for me. I have been obsessed with cottage cheese for like two years. I would honestly go to say it's an addiction. I eat it with my eggs in a veggie patty for breakfast. I eat it with crackers for a snack. It's so good and I I hated on cottage cheese for so long when I was younger My brother would eat cottage cheese like it was his job and I was like that's gross Even though I never tried it. I just thought it looked gross But then I tried it in college and now I'm obsessed So I am eating my own words now if you watched my last Trader Joe's haul, you know how Obsessed I am with this next item. I just got some of the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip If you have not tried this dip you are doing it wrong. I wouldn't say it's a staple for me because I don't have it in the house all the time. And the only reason I don't have it in the house all the time is because if I do, I eat it in like a day. Like I do not have self-control when it comes to this dip. Like if I open this today, today's Monday, it'll be gone by Wednesday, like guaranteed. I eat it with carrots, I eat it with celery, I eat it with crackers, with tortilla chips. I cannot recommend this item enough. Next, I just got two tubs of hummus. Like I said, carrots and hummus, crackers and hummus, hummus, uh, peppers and hummus, huge staples for me. I always have to have hummus in the house at all times. So I just got a tub of the organic hummus and then a tub of the roasted garlic hummus, which are my two favorites at Trader Joe's. 
So moving on to like meats and poultry, I just got a few items. I just picked up a carton of large brown cage-free eggs. So we had completely run out of eggs. Eggs are a staple for me for eggs in the morning, scrambles, omelets, stuff like that. Like I said, we had run out, so I just grabbed some more. I also just picked up some extra lean ground beef. I want to make tacos this week and obviously did not have any ground beef. So I just picked up some for a taco night this week. And then last for fresh meats, I just got some of the roasted garlic chicken sausage. I love Trader Joe's chicken sausage. I use it for stir fries and put it in pasta. It's just nice and easy. They're already fully cooked. You just heat them up in a fry pan or the microwave if you're lazy or the air fryer. And I just absolutely love them. So I picked up some of those. So next I'll go through my frozen items, which is the very large majority of this entire haul. First, I just picked up some of the chili lime chicken burgers. These are another huge staple for me. They're so easy, they're so good. I've tried them in the air fryer, they make a big mess, so I usually just throw them in a saucepan, heat them up for a little bit, and that's about it. I don't even season them or anything. They're that good, they have so much flavor. They're nice and easy, especially I'm a college student. I gravitate very much towards frozen foods just because they're easy, they don't go bad, they're always there. And I have a very inconsistent schedule, so these are just so incredible for me in my life right now, and they're just good and they're easy. And I definitely recommend if you have not tried them and you eat meat, you should try them. They're freaking delicious. I also got some of the organic jasmine rice. Again, these are so easy, so tasty. They come in, I think, three bags of rice and you just pop them in the microwave and put them on your plate, maybe sprinkle some salt on it. That is it, they're so easy and it tastes so good. I had completely run out, so I just grabbed some more. I also grabbed a pack of the frozen turkey meatballs. I actually haven't had these in a while. I have gotten them before though. They are good when I'm feeling lazy, just like spaghetti and meatballs. That's about it. That's pretty much all I use these for. But I actually, I don't think I've ever tried these in my air fryer and that intrigued me. So I bought them to try in the air fryer. Keep you posted. I also grabbed a pack of the uh, frozen chicken fried rice. Again, so easy, so tasty. I literally just throw it in the microwave and then sprinkle usually some like coconut aminos on it and honestly call it a day. So when I'm running like really late or just like really not feeling like cooking or sometimes when I get really anxious, it's hard for me to eat because I just get so overwhelmed with the idea of like making food. I can literally just pull this out of the freezer and throw it in a bowl and heat it up and there's lunch. So like I said, convenience for me is huge at this point in my life right now in college. So this was a win for me. So here's the thing. I am trying to still find a balance with curing my cravings and ignoring my cravings. I have not always had the healthiest relationship with food and it is something that I am diligently working on to better my relationship with food. I just got some of these small single serve pizzas just for the days that I'm really craving like pizza <laughs> or like just something cheesy, something good, something carby. Instead of like, you know, spending $25 to order Domino's, just throw one of these in the oven or, oh my God. In the air fryer? Shut up. You have to have a balance. This is my balance. I've never tried these. I'm not sure how they are, but I'll keep you posted. <laughs> I also grabbed some of the chicken cilantro mini wontons. My mom, I think, actually got these for me the first time a few years ago, and I've loved them ever since. Oh my God, throwing these in the air fryer. So good. So good and I had run out and I had missed them dearly. So obviously I had to grab more. I picked up some frozen broccoli florets. Uh, I was running out. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable, not raw though, but like in the air fryer, steamed, thrown in a saucepan. It is my favorite. And again, I get frozen because it just lasts longer. It's more convenient for me. And I had run out, so I grabbed more. Another craving cure, I just got some of the Trader Joe's reduced guilt mac and cheese. I have tried this before. It's pretty good. It gets the job done. It's not some like, you know, gourmet mac and cheese. Sometimes I just crave mac and cheese. This will cure that craving. So I just grabbed one pack of that. It's, I think it's literally one serving. Yeah, just one serving. And I also bought this Asian vegetable stir fry. I've never tried this specific stir fry from Trader Joe's before, but I liked a lot of the vegetables that it had in it. It has broccoli and corn and green beans and peppers and, uh, 
water chestnuts, I think is what they're called. But I was intrigued, so I grabbed it. It comes with soy sauce. I will probably use coconut aminos instead of the soy sauce. But yeah, so I will let you guys know how this is too. This is actually a brand new item from Trader Joe's, so I've never tried it before, and I don't think I've ever been so excited to try something in my entire life. Breaded fried ravioli. Guys, I saw this on TikTok the other day and it was the first thing I looked for when I got to the store. I'm so excited. So I can't say how good they are because I have not tried them, but like I cannot imagine they're not good. I believe this is the last frozen item. I just grabbed some of the mini hold the cones. I got the chocolate chip flavor. Funny enough, the only hold the cones that I've tried were the peppermint ones for the Christmas season and I was obsessed with them. And they're just, they're like literally that big. Like I have the biggest sweet tooth. Like as soon as I'm done with dinner, I'm like, okay, dessert. Like it's an intense sweet tooth and these have shown to cure my chocolate craving at the end of the night. So I grabbed these for a quick, small little chocolate snack after dinner. Moving on to more like pantry, random rest of the items in this haul. I just got some of the teeny tiny potatoes. I saw a recipe on TikTok. I see everything on TikTok where you like smash them and then you roast them and they're like little chips. And I was very intrigued and want to try them. Potatoes aren't a staple for me. I don't have them in the house at all times, but I definitely do like to roast up some potatoes for dinners and stuff like that. So yeah, I wanted to try that recipe with these teeny tiny potatoes. I also just grabbed a very loud bag of the brown rice pasta. I think I have like one box of pasta left. Pasta is another huge staple for me. I eat it like at least two times a week just with sauce and some sort of protein and veggie. So I just picked up some more. Then to go along with my pasta, I just grabbed some of the creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. I've actually never tried this sauce, speci this sauce specifically, say that 10 times fast. I definitely love creamy sauces and it just was calling my name. So I figured I would try it out. I also grabbed a bag of some of the San Francisco style sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread. My grandma actually makes homemade sourdough bread and it is literally chef's kiss. She's incredible, but um, she lives in Maine, so I don't get her bread all the time. She's turned me on to sourdough bread like no other. So now I just grab some from Trader Joe's. I use it a lot for avocado toast and sandwiches and stuff like that. So yeah, I just picked up some more. Sorry if the frame changed, I just kicked my camera and it went flying. I just grabbed some of the multi-grain crackers. I like to eat these again with that spinach Greek yogurt dip, uh, hummus, guac, but I didn't get guac this time because I didn't have any, which was sad. But yeah, crackers are another huge staple for me. These are some of my favorite crackers from Trader Joe's. I had run out, so I grabbed more. I also got these everything but the gluten crackers. My stepdad actually turned me on to these. I don't know, they're just good. I eat them with the garlic spread, which is not in this haul because I already had some, but Trader Joe's garlic spread, I eat it with hummus. Pretty much it, but they're really freaking good and I had run out, so I grabbed some more. So I also grabbed these inner peas baked green pack snack. Yeah, baked green, great bit. Mm baked green pea snack. Uh, these are literally just like crunchy little peas that you think you can see on the back right here. That's what they look like. These are gone in like one sitting. Like I eat the whole bag in one sitting usually. They're so good and so crunchy. When I'm craving something salty, these are another go-to for me. So I grab these pretty much every time I go to Trader Joe's. And then the very, very last item in this haul is just some chocolate hummus. Again, I grabbed this for a sweet tooth craving. I wanted to grab some strawberries and there was one one pack left and I was like, ooh, hell yeah, just for me. Um, and it was moldy. So I did not get strawberries to eat with this. So I will have to run out to the grocery store that is down the street to get strawberries because that is what I would eat with this chocolate hummus. So that is it for this week's Trader Joe's haul. Overall, the total came to 95.39, which I think is incredible. This food will last me like two weeks and beyond. It'll last me a very long time. I'm very happy with everything I got. I can't wait to try everything. I do plan on filming a what I eat in a day with these groceries. So if you want to see that video, definitely comment down below. Let me know any specific foods you saw in this haul that you maybe want me to try out during that video. Hi, my camera died literally as I was filming the outro. I was so close to filming an entire sit down video without my camera dying.
I hope you guys liked today's video. I love filming Trader Joe's hauls. This is my second one. If you haven't seen my first one, definitely check it out. I will link it down below and up in the cards above. So yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys liked what you saw, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my weekly uploads. I try to upload every single Sunday. I may miss one here and there because of school, but most often every Sunday, 2 p.m., you'll see a video from me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.